So a lot of you guys have been asking for this video and it's a setup tour of my overkill content creation setup. So here we go. For any of you guys that don't know who I am, my name is Niche Games and I make tech and keyboard related content on TikTok. And I'm trying to get a hold of this whole YouTube thing. But let's walk through everything in my setup that I use to accumulate my following of 65,000. So for my setup, I have two halves in my desk, the gaming side and the production side. So as you can see here on the left side, it has three monitors. So this is my gaming and streaming side, which has my keyboard and mouse, my switch, my mic, my monitors, I can put anything I want and my camera which is the Sony A6400 with a 16 millimeter lens. It allows me to get that nice angle on Twitch. So this is the angle that my stream gets to see and it's a beautiful backdrop, nothing too special. You got my anime paintings up here, my PC parts, my four GPUs, four CPUs that I've built with, but I'm not streaming, so let's get back to the tour. So as you can see, I got an old PS4 here, which I mainly only use for Netflix or Crunchyroll, watch anime, TV show, whatever I wanna do on this TV screen. That's an old one from college. And I have it connected to my PC also if I wanna like throw a Discord up there in my music. For my secondary monitor, this vertically mounted one, it's an old HP monitor that I got for really cheap and it's nothing special, just 60 FPS. And I think it's like 1280. It's one inch thick, so it's pretty fat, not one of the new slim ones at all. But now my main monitor, it's a little more expensive, but nothing special. It's an Acer 1080p, 144 hertz, one millisecond response time monitor that I play my games with. And for the webcam, I have a hand cam, which can show my keyboard and everything. Speaking of keyboards, this is probably the most asked question I get on stream, and that's what is my mouse and keyboard? So for the coiled cable, this is an AR keys laser cable that I got for like $40, which I think is a little pricey for a coiled cable. For the mouse, this is actually my new favorite mouse, and it's the ROG Keras Wireless that was originally black, and I custom painted it baby blue, and it has some blemishes on it because of the paint I used, but overall it's really nice, has that ergonomic feel, and I love it. I would choose this over the Model O wireless any day because of the ergonomics versus a ambidextrous mouse. And for the second most asked question on my stream, what is my keyboard? This is the NK65 Entry Edition, which is a polycarbonate case and aluminum plate. And it is a five pin hot swap keyboard, so you can try any switch you want that is an MX style. And the keycaps, it's an Artifact Bloom Series dust keycap set from Drop. So here's a little sound test for you guys. And over here is the mic that I use. And this is my personal recommendation as the best USB mic for streaming and gaming because of the software that is included with it. And this is the Elgato Wave 1. In terms of audio quality, this is just another USB microphone, but the software really skyrockets it above the rest. The Elgato Wave 1 has their Wavelink software that you can control different audio outputs to your stream or to yourself with just sliders digitally. Now, as I previously stated, I break my desk down into a gaming streaming side and to a production side where I film and produce a lot of my videos and make a lot of my content. So as you can see, we have a lot of equipment here that I use for keyboard stuff. And I use this black sheath ROG desk pad that they were actually so kind to send out to me. And I use it for the background of a lot of my videos. So let's dive into this equipment we have here. This is actually a future project that I'm working on and it's a acrylic case that I have to build for a Nibble 65 that I have coming in. It's not coming yet, some delays is happening, but this is gonna be a killer build. Next up, we have this DIY cable kit that Define Cable sent out to me, which I'm gonna show you guys how to build your own custom coiled cable, just like this one right here. If you don't wanna spend the money on buying your own custom cable, you can buy the parts, which is a lot cheaper, and make it yourself, so stay tuned for that. This is a switch tester that I got when I was first getting into keyboards because I wasn't sure what switch I wanted. I think this is a great investment if you're really into keyboards and you want to start getting into keyboards to choose your switch. And of course I have my soldering iron and miscellaneous tools for my lubing and stuff for switches. So let's move over to these pretty jars right here. And these are keyboard switches. I've been testing a lot of switches, lubing them, and these are actually lubed and filmed aqua xylance and unlubed aqua xylance, lubed and filmed banana splits, kiwis, dragon fruits, gatteron blacks, milkshakes, and glorious pandas. 
Now the most asked question on my stream and the biggest eye candy in my room is my PC. So let's get right into the specs and tell you guys what I'm running. Starting with the graphics card, I was one of the lucky few to get my hands on a ROG Strix White 3080. And this is hands down one of the best looking graphics cards on the market right now. And of course this 3080 allows me to do a lot of my 4K video rendering as well as streaming and gaming. And this is paired with the Ryzen 9 3900X that's cooled with the NZXT Kraken Z63. For my RAM slots, I have 32 gigs of Trident Z Royal at 4000 megahertz. And of course, I got the Strimmer Plus cables. Because you can never have too much RGB, right? For the motherboard, I have an ASUS ROG Strix X570 E Gaming. Now, I'm still waiting for ASUS to make a white X570. I did get my hands on the white B550 motherboard, but it wasn't what I was looking for. And probably some of the hottest fans on the market right now is the Lee & Lee SL120 and 140 Uni fans, which feature the daisy chain design and the RGB coming down the sides. I have three 120mm fans and five 140mm fans in this case. Speaking of the case, everything is housed inside of the Corsair 680X, which has amazing airflow and features a dual chamber design. What the dual chamber means is that all my motherboard, GPU and CPU case fans are all in the front while I can put my power supply and storage in the back of the case. Sitting on top, we just have a little bit of memorability of making it a little more unique. So now let's get into my production equipment. I have a blue compass boom arm with the Arctis quick release ball mount. I use this so that I can interchange my cameras very quickly. Here we have my Sony A6400, but I typically use my Sony A7S 3 for a lot of my production videos. I'm just using this for the video's purpose. This provides excellent top-down shots from my production side as well as various angles that I want to do if I want to change it up. In terms of productivity, quick release, and the blue compass combination really allows me to manage my workflow a lot better. So if I ever want to switch from a tripod to the blue compass or vice versa, very easily I can do that with this quick release mount. The flexibility of the setup allows me to hit some amazing shots and here's just a taste of them. And that's the rundown of my overkill content creation setup and how I got to where I am. So if you guys enjoyed anything in this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment what your thoughts are, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video.